Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Stan, AmeriCorps, and Triple C, FEMA Corps. I believe this is the fourth vlog post that I've made, and we are in Orlando, Florida. Woo! So, a lot has happened over the past month. It's hard to even condense everything that I want to put into this video, but I'll do my best um, to make sure you guys know what we're doing and how we're loving it. So, essentially, the last post, we were in Baton Rouge <clears throat> working with uh, manufactured housing units, getting them to survivors. We were inspecting them. We even made the news. We were working at a branch office, which is another office where they help out survivors and make sure that they're registered throughout the state. The main one is called a JFO, a Joint Field Office. Its satellite offices are called branch field offices branch offices. So essentially we were doing that for about a month <clears throat> and then we got a call to go to San Antonio to work in a warehouse. So we worked there for preparation for the next disaster in Texas, in southern Texas, which was amazing work, very rewarding and a lot of fun. Um, we loved the downtown area, the river walk is gorgeous, the food is great and the people are very nice and very caring. Um, after that, well, during Texas it was amazing because we also got training in Austin for emergency management um, at a state level. So we were trained in additional work and we have more skills that we could apply to the jobs that we're doing throughout the, uh, the service here. After San Antonio, or during San Antonio, we got a call that uh, Hurricane Matthews was hitting the southeast coast and to come to Mississippi back to campus as fast as we can. This was a call for an emergency response. All the teams were going back to their AmeriCorps campuses and we were getting delivered straight to the disaster um, at a moment's notice. It was exhilarating, it was exciting, and we didn't know what, was gonna, what to expect, what, what was gonna happen. We didn't know where we were gonna go. So a few days ago, this was all last week, uh, we immediately went to Mississippi for a few for a day, and then we were told to go to Georgia. We went to Georgia. We worked at an ISB there, which is a <clears throat> incident support base, which facilitates the maneuver or the transport of commodities and trailers from run one part of the region to the other. Um, so these trailers that we were getting in Georgia were going from. Orlando um, up the coast. This was very cool. This We learned a lot and I got to do some LCMS work um, which was basically computer inventory work for the, the disaster. Um, that was amazing. Um, I couldn't have asked for anything more than that. It was a lot different than what I was used to but it was really cool. Once a few hours hit on this day. We were told to go to Orlando for more work. So we were working at the ISB, the Incident Support Base, about 10 times the size in Orlando, Florida, where these units would now be sent to North Carolina because North Carolina has been hit. Um, so we're hearing the worst out of all the states, which was also um, unexpected, but it's really due to the regions of North Carolina that were hit, it's, it was the poor areas, the places without insurance, and that resulted in a higher need for FEMA assistance. So we're doing that now, and we're loving it. It's, it's, it's work, it's work. We're really putting in work, and it's really rewarding. Um, just a quick short story I could share. We were going to our hotel, and a woman seen us coming um, into the hotel after a day's work, getting to our rooms. And she spoke to one of our core members and she said that she wanted to take a picture. And, we, and of course, we didn't want to be rude. We found it a little surprising, but you know, interesting that she wanted to take a picture with us. So she took a picture with us and she wanted to thank us for what, she was, for what we were doing. Um, she's a survivor of Hurricane Matthews. She lost her home to the storm and she was very thankful that young people were putting in work um, for the betterment of her state. So we wanted to thank her for showing us that love and everything that, you know, 
that she lost and how, how we're really trying to make a difference here. So it's just little things like that that really make you appreciate everything that you're doing. Um, I celebrated my birthday in Georgia. That was pretty cool. And just the love that the team gave and everything that we're doing as a unit is very important. And I'm thankful for it. Um, I think that's all I have for you in this video. If you guys, again, have any questions, message me. I have a plethora of experience now. Um, and I'm still really in the beginning of my service here um, that I can give you guys. And hopefully, if you're still deciding if you want to do AmeriCorps and Triple C FEMA Corps, um, I could be a convincing or just a wealth of information um, for you guys to you know, pick my brain. It's really a great program, and I highly recommend it. And if you have any concerns or, you know, any reservations, just let me know and I'll answer them as truthfully as I can. All right, guys, I'll see you all in a month. Who knows where I'll be? Who knows what I'll be doing? Orlando, AmeriCorps, and Triple C, FEMA Corps. I'll see you guys later.